So here we have an Airmaster propeller from New Zealand and I've just installed it on an R3600 for a customer who's fitting this engine to an RV and um, I, I should have, uh, you'll see some pictures later in the video um, but I've already put the the, um, the spinner on covering the mechanism but it's a beautifully made thing. Hats off to our, uh, our friends across the pond there. They have done a really amazing job. These are beautifully made blades and the, the mech and the hubs are lovely with a securing nut and bearing. And uh, yeah, I couldn't you couldn't I couldn't fault it. It's just beautifully made. Um, top notch, top notch. And the blades are perfect. I think they look great. The diameter looks about right. I think it's gonna work. The, sp the spinner is beautiful, but you really need to see the hub. I, as I said, I've got pictures that I'll I'll um, add to the end of this video. Um so that's that. Um, on the back side, I will contact Airmaster though um, because I did have to modify this just slightly. They weren't, they were a little bit too neat on the drive lugs. So I put them in my CNC machine, picked up the centers and just nibbled them out a little bit, maybe another 0.1 on the diameter of those um, dowels, that's all. And on the inner spigot, they hadn't gone deep enough to clear the Rotec flange center. And they didn't allow for the radius at the end. Well, they did allow for it, but they didn't allow enough. So I increased the radius or I actually put a big chamfer on the where this meets the Rotec flange. You see you've got your three slip rings on the back there, which sets your DC reversing and your limit, I guess. And they've got this really nice um, brush box, which is on a like a, a, a pole mounted to the end of a pole. And it's it's much longer than you need. So you can just slide that up and down on that clamp there. And then you can, um, you know, just lock it in, set it where you like. Now, obviously, on my engine here, and the, and of course, Airmaster were kind enough to design this for the customer, so it picked up two of these um, seal carrier bolts. So that was really convenient, and I was able to uh, get to those before I put the flange on. Uh, sorry, the the Airmaster um, hub, and I could work through my lightning holes here and get to those two two screws, which I've done down the bottom here to try and keep this a bit out of the way for aesthetic reasons and then you just as i said you just cut that tube off mark it out you know just do a bit of a dummy run mark it cut mark that tube and then cut it off in this instance i came up on it slowly because i didn't want to spoil it so um and then you've just you've just got just enough room to do your, your little adjustment there and you set i've set the brush box so it's got about a millimeter and a half gap there so it's, it can't possibly rub beautiful tighten that up done and he's got a nice wiring harness here. Everything's really plug and play. I mean, you know, you want to read the instructions to get familiar with it, but, you know, it really is straightforward to put together. Um, once you've got it fitting your engine and they've designed that properly, um, as long as it fits the engine, then and it has so far, just a couple, as I said, minor adjustments on the hub. So you get your wiring loom here, just plug that in. I'm just going to route it through here. I don't want to cut this loom because it's designed to fit the RV. And so I've got that wire running behind the prop here out the door crack here and then around this side I've got the um, I've got a little battery motorcycle battery and just plug the wire in there and then she's lit up right and you've got all your various modes here your cruise and your climb and feathering and all these sorts of things it's got a USB cable so I guess you can get on your PC and you can dial program that as needed uh, on my task here today is just prove that it fits. I'm just going to use it in manual mode. Um, so I can just go fine. And you can hear it there going coarse. And you see the lights there, fine, coarse. And if we come around here, you'll see the prop actually moving. It's going coarse. And now it's going to go fine. So what I'll do is I'll fire the engine up and weather it in fine. And it stops automatically when it gets to the end. It just doesn't let you go any further. It, doesn't, it won't over travel. It's obviously got some sort of um, switching arrangement in there or diodes, a micro switch or something. I think probably a, a diode limit or something. But anyway, very good. So that's going to work for the moment. And without me having to modify the loom, that's going to be well out of the prop wash there. Uh, that'll be fine. And I'll just operate it from out here and just change the pitch accordingly. So what, what I'm going to do next is uh, get the booth ready for the engine run, hook up some petrol and um, get it fired up. So make sure it's all nice and smooth and balanced and everything and not shaking around, which I just suspect it will be perfectly balanced. And then um, once I've got the engine warm, I'll put some power into it and we'll play around with the pitch and just see it loading up and deloading the engine and see what it does at full power under fine and 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 full pitch and just see see how it goes. Um, I'm sure it's going to have probably more range on the pitch than than will be used, but um, we'll just see how it, how the engine takes the the pitch at full power. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So 
let's um, get some petrol into it and give it a go. All right, so here we are. We've got the Airmaster prop from New Zealand fitted. Beautiful piece of work on the Rotec radial engine. And we're all set to go here. So just around the side here, I've snuck out the, the control box um, for all your settings there. See that? We're in manual mode right now. I've got a little motorbike battery powering it up. That's good enough. I've got the pitch set to find. No problem there. So let's fire it up. All right. So first thing we do is uh, set the throttle. Everything good to go. Mags are off, so we'll wheel it on the starter motor first. That's all good. Turn the mags on. Turn them on. And fire it up. Beautiful. Pressure coming up. Bring up the RPM, 2000. Smooth, that prop's so balanced. That's lovely. 600 RPM. Well, that was excellent. Very impressed with that propeller by Air Master.